Welcome to Digitizer's Great British Days Out. We're here today at the National Gallery, a gallery full of old art up to the year 1900. Why don't you join us here on Digitizer's Great British Days Out. I'm here in front of London's famous Nelson's Column here in Trafalgar Square, home of the National Gallery. Trafalgar Square, of course, commemorates the famous Battle of Trafalgar, where Nelson asked his friend to kiss his hardy. Is that true? Yes. Oh, over here we have loads of skilled skaters, both roller and blade. I mean, you have you have to admire their skill though. I mean, they're pretty talented. Can you zoom in with this? They're not part of my British, Great British Day Out. This is Great British, this is very, this is Great British stop skill. Them. I like they their might, skills. They might, be, uh, they might be tourists. Don't what? film them anymore. It's not about them, it's about me. It's about me. Check this guy out. No, it's about me. But they're really clever. It's my show, not theirs. We're not, we're not Great British skateboarders. Stop trying to film them, Sanya. Welcome here at Trafalgar Square for Digitizer's Great British Days Out. Of course, on VE Day, thousands of people congregated here to celebrate our triumph over the... It doesn't matter. Stop filming the skateboarders, they're not here. Go over and go in. Stop it. Why are you doing it? And disobeying me. I think you've got great skills. I'm the director. I'm the director. I don't want skateboarders in my film. I'm here today in the National Gallery for Digitizer's Great British Days Out and at the top of the stairs here we have a big painting. Lovely. The painting is The Dead Christ and the Virgin. Don't know which is which. I mean, you don't know which is which? No, it doesn't say. I mean, look at the one on the left. Look at this face here. What? The security guard keeps looking at me because I was putting a pop socket on your phone. I was swapping my pop socket for your pop for your phone from my phone to your phone. My pop socket fell off. And he was yeah, he was like looking around the corner to see what I was doing. Can I just say by the way if I'm sweating? Yeah. It's because I'm wearing this stupid coat. Nice coat. Why are you wearing it? Because we got good views. We got good views on the last video because I wore this coat. It's a really hot day. Look at the sun that is out there. I'm sweating. Well, this well, you have to suffer for your art, well, like these guys have. He, they've suffered for their art. They don't look very happy at all. It's creepy, isn't it? Really? Well, I had to do my final year twelve religion project on this kind of art, and it was actually really fascinating because each colour meant something, and then, and yeah, then each what, item they're what. holding has like a different symbolism. I tell you what the gold symbolises. What? Ooh, we're the church, we've got more money than you, and we're going to use it on these 
depressing paintings and we're not going to spend it on the poor, which, you know, uh, would be a, a more Christian thing to do, wouldn't it? Not on, not on some really ugly paintings. That's a, this is a great start to our tour. This painting is effectively, it's like the Avengers Endgame of its day. Oh yeah, it is. Like, Who would he be? Thanos. No, he's um, Iron Man. Man. He's the Iron Man. Iron Man, Man. he's got Iron Man colours. You know, because they didn't have moving pictures back then, so they'd just sit and watch this and they eat popcorn. There's oranges in the tree. What if they had pick and mix back then? They had pick and mix made of like potatoes and meat. There's a guy and bread. And... Oh yeah, look at this guy. I don't know what's going on there. And there's a guy with He's one, running away. There's a guy with one white leg and one yellow, yellow leg. leg. P piss leg. <laughs> why, in all these old fashioned paintings, why is everyone doing this? They all do it. No, no. They really fed up. Well, I'd be if I was in a depressing painting. So there's a painting of someone who was condemned to death for having like the worst hair ever. This. Look at, look at her. Uh, I mean, hair. I think you'll find this hair is in fashion now. Your voice is a lot louder in here than me. Yeah, I know. I have a You've really loud voice. Now. Everyone's whispering apart from you. This, uh, no, you need to use your indoor voice. This, this is like my silent voice. You're a lot louder than everyone. I'm just warning you. It's the lowest the volume goes. Oh my goodness, look at this little guy, he's so cute. This innocent face. I mean, he looks a little bit bored, but he's very cute. Vladimir Putin, man. Oh my goodness, you're right. Like the boot, boot. Here in the, here in the National Gallery, we've got our, we found our first boob. First of probably many, because let's face it, this was the pornography of the day. So they had to go to galleries. Oh dear, yeah. Check that. Well, they'd have that in their house and they'd have a little fiddle while looking at that, I imagine. I mean, why else do it? There's no other reason to have a boob out there, is there? There's literally, there's no artistic reason for it. It's like, oh, slipped out, oh, peekaboo. This guy's not impressed. I'm here at the National Gallery with... Ethan. This is Ethan. Where are you from, Ethan? I'm from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Cowboy town. He, uh, he's asked to be in our video. You, uh, are you a YouTube fan? I'm not, but I'm willing to watch your channel if you... Um, like and subscribe. Yeah, check us out on... It's Digitizer. Okay, Digitizer. Yeah. I'll check it out on YouTube. Okay. Nice to meet you, Ethan. Nice to meet you. Bye. Paul. Paul. We've what? got to see this. Dun, dun, dun. Magic. Mm. This is pure, pure magic. This, this apparently. It's a what? It's apparently. You can't hear me the I other side of this, you. can you? If I keep talking, I'm too far away. But I'm on the mic now. And you don't know what I'm saying. You don't know what I'm saying. I'll just keep moving around the thing. This is a self-portrait of the artist. I don't know why it's hanging from the chain. Perhaps he used it as a toilet flush. Check out this shit over here. Whoa. This, uh... Lammy! This sculpture is called Disgusting Sheep. <laughs> you can't see it very well. It looks like one of those AI paintings. 
you know, the AI it's an, artworks. It's got an extra eye on its head and more legs. Oh my God, it does, look. It's gross. Wow, it's got a lot of legs. Spider, spider lamb. Okay. Okay, spider you're shouting lamb. again. Spider lamb does whatever a spider lamb does. Right, next. Let's, oh my god, let's see what's over on this coast. Oh, what is oh, that no, thing? That's too much. I'm overwhelmed. There's too much no, good overwhelmed. stuff, no, but no, that no, thing. Wait, look at that in a minute. I need you to see this person who's got their trousers on their head. <laughs> does anyone remember the movie Critters down here at the bottom of the painting? What on earth? It's an 80s classic. How proud is this dude? Look. What we, what look. we have here, what we have here is somebody... Look what, what we have here, I think you mean. Cut his own hair. Yeah. Don't ever cut your hair with um, paper scissors or kitchen scissors. We need to move out of this area because Scooty got she's back. Quick move, we need to go to a different bit. Following us. Okay. Flower power. I wanted to see the big wooden thing. Okay, it's, no, that's where. Now we've missed it. It's yes, back that's there. where the security guard is. We're now in uh, another era of art. This is the the wall, wool, the wall, wall room, the wall, the wall room. It's all so depressing. So depressing. Yeah. It's a cool room, isn't it? It's called the wall, wall, wall. Not the wall the wall room. Wall, 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 wall. Like Mark Wahlberg, it's his room. What on earth? This is grim. Grim AF. Dinner. Paul, he's got a big M. When, when, I'll tell you, when my, I came on a school trip with my nephew. Yeah. They were about a year, I don't know, they were about five, six. Oh no, guys, come on. <laughs> what I've learned in our time here at the National Gallery is that unlike the British Museum, wherever anything goes here, you look like you're having too much fun and they glare at you, the security guards. And, fo and follow you and around. follow you around. They've had like three now. <laughs> Don't like it here. This place is creepy, it's oppressive. It feels like I'm in like Nazi Germany's stolen art collection. Ooh, you're the Fort Fun Police are not uh, are not permitting so much as a smile. You make a funny noise or you shout too much and you get glared at. Bad enough. If I've learned one thing here today, it's that art isn't fun and you know, you're not meant to bring a bit of levity into art. And also it's quite difficult to film with all these
people. Paul, I've seen George Harrison from the Beatles and from his solo career. George Harrison from his life. Every other painting is Finn Wolfhard or someone going, Ooh. Basically. He's not doing that. No, because he's Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things. Oh, oh yeah. If you, if you listen to my words more carefully, I'd make a lot more sense. That would help, wouldn't it? Yeah. This is sick. It's dad at Christmas dinner. He sat there around the table. Why isn't anyone else wearing a hat? Where you hat? Where you hat? Where you cracker hat? Where you hat? Where you hat? Proud owner of a cracker hat. That was half hard too. Well, yeah, because he's not doing much of a face. So oh, another bloody security guard was right behind you. Oh, okay. I just want to say I'm not a complete philistine, but I do like the the dynamic of light and shade on this picture. And also they've got cool hats. Look at that. So striking. It's amazing. Then you get to that one. It's just rubbish. Paul. Rubbish. So, something I've noticed going around this gallery is you get paintings of like beheadings, a lot of those, paintings of people with like things cut off, you get loads of nudity, like anything, really, but no pictures of like someone doing a poo or something like Ooh. that. No poo, not a, sing not a single poo painting. And I think that's a missed opportunity. Everyone has a brown period. Sonia, Sonia, yes, yes. show me the Monet. They, very good, there you go. No smiling, get out of the gallery. Vincent van Gogh's sunflower. Oh. Sorry? Did isn't, you call me? Isn't it pr Did you call me? Crabs. Where's your granddad now? What? He gave away your crabs. Oh, yeah. Tell the story of... So this, uh, this painting here is unfortunately, I find quite moving, um, because when I was a child, I went crab fishing, and uh, I'd caught a lot of crabs, and I put them in a cardboard box, left them under our caravan where we were staying, and my granddad gave them away to a boy. And um, the boy, I chased the boy. I saw it happen. I saw my granddad I wave. I thought the boy stole them and your granddad just waved yes. at him. Yes, yes, okay. He didn't give the crabs away. There's a security guard looking at me, so I can see him now over your shoulder. There's the crabs. Let's get out of here. Let's stay. Oh dear. Staying away. Staying. Fascists. 50 years old, does he think I'm gonna start playing pranks on people? For God's sakes, I'm too old to be doing YouTube anyway, let alone doing pranks on YouTube. Staring at me the whole time I was trying to talk about the traps. Well, we got thrown out of the National Gallery. Apparently you can't film in there. We didn't get thrown we did out, get thrown we, just get, we just got told that 
you can take photos, but you can't film. What's dra- more dramatic they for didn't, the video? They didn't more say dramatic? you have to leave. What's they said more you dramatic? Can stay. No, we got thrown out. We didn't. They said we could stay. Even say, I'm no, there they to did video. not say that. They I didn't was there even to use video. those words. I was there to video, and they said you can't stay here if you're video. No, videoing. they didn't say those words at all. They just said, oh, they implied. Some, he was really shy, and he was like, oh, excuse me. Hang no, on, there's the, a load of noise. Hang on. He just said, let me talk into your microphone. No, what are you doing? You're so close to my face. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my voice. I can hear your voice. He, they said, he said, he was really shy and polite, and he said, oh, excuse me, um, you're only allowed to take photos no, in here, no filming. that isn't what happened. Why are, you, why are you giving the benefit of the doubt? It's imp- tr- because the I was implication there. was clear. If you insist on filming, sir and madam, if you insist on filming, you, you need to leave. And I was insisting on filming <laughs> and therefore I had to leave. My only purpose from being there in that depressing hellhole was to film. And I'm not allowed to, so therefore I was thrown out. It's a depressing place anyway. I, mean, I, I hated think it, it. I think it was more that you chose to leave. I was thrown out. I was thrown out due to my decision to continue filming and had I had I followed through with that decision they would have forcefully forcefully ejected me from the premises that was the implication of what they were saying therefore objectively I was thrown out you were thrown out we were thrown out I I wouldn't put it that way I'd just say we we chose to leave because I was we didn't want to just take photos I was attempting to bring culture to the masses you know our masses of, of viewers and they, they chose to shut that down, which shows what Philistines they are. Yeah, they, they would rather... Oh, all, right, okay, they're the ones at fault. Yeah, they're the ones who would rather keep all, all their depressing art behind closed doors for the elite. I mean, it's free to I, get in. Some people, some people can't make it to London to see the art. It's free to get in. Yeah, but you can't travel here for you free. You could have done a slideshow of photos with a voiceover. That's boring. That's what I want to be in it. <laughs> you could have done a slideshow of selfies with the voiceover. No, they, they, the elite, the, the elite have chosen to keep their depressing art behind closed doors for just for people who can afford to come to London, where prices are through the roof, and you know everyone else screw you. You're not going to get to enjoy a virtual tour of the National Gallery because we don't allow it. So you know, forget it, everyone. Forget, forget seeing what's in there. Uh, you know, we could have shown you more Monet's and I don't know, was it another artist? Van Gogh, we saw his oh. Vincent Price, his paintings, and uh, you're not going to now because the fascists who run the National Gallery have deemed that impossible. So you know, this is this has been a fail of an episode, and frankly, you know, it makes me just want to give up.